Hello, I am Dr. Annie Hassan. I head the Department of Genetics and Molecular Medicine at Kaminini Hospitals. Today I wanted to tell you about the importance of 28th of February in genetics. It is considered as the Rare Disease Awareness Day. There are 7,000 rare diseases in the world and 300 million people suffer from them. Despite this, they are considered as rare or often undiagnosed, making patients and families suffer. We are trying to give you information about some of these rare diseases which occur at different stages of your life. You can see the symptoms of rare diseases while the child is in the uterus, as soon as it is born, as it grows in an adult or in later life. Genetic counsellors from Kaminini will enlighten you about them. Thank you. Infertility is the inability to give birth to a child. This can be primary where the individual cannot conceive at all or secondary where the individual has continuous abortions or stillbirths or abnormal child. In both cases, there lies various genetic causes. Chromosomal disorders associated with infertility include Kleinfelter's and Turner syndromes. Deletions in the chromosome Y are also associated with abnormalities in the sperm and its count. Various single gene disorders associated with infertility include cystic fibrosis and Tay-Sachs disease. Several alternative conception options for individuals with infertility fall under the artificial reproductive technologies. This, along with appropriate genetic counselling, can help the individuals identify the cause of infertility and choose the right technique to achieve healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. Hemoglobinopathies are a group of genetic disorders which result in abnormal structure and function of hemoglobin molecule. Hemoglobin molecule is a protein that carries oxygen throughout your blood and imparts red color to your blood cells. Sickle cell anemia and thalassemia are the most common hemoglobinopathies in India. These disorders pass down through the families and marriages in relation are at a higher risk of acquiring it. The symptoms include shortness of breath, anemia, cold hands and feet, pale skin. You are advised to go for carrier screening for hemoglobinopathies prior to your marriage or prior to pregnancy. Genetic counselling and testing helps in avoiding its recurrence in the future generations. Metabolism is the process which makes energy from the food we have eat and any disorder that disrupts this process is called metabolism disorder. So if you find a child with poor appetite, weight loss, abdominal pain, developmental delay, any skeletal abnormalities along with enlarged liver and spleen, so might be they are suffering from any metabolic disorder or conditions. So we genetic counsellors offer nephro screening to identify these metabolic conditions before the symptoms occur for better diagnosis and proper management. Defects at birth or which develop later in life are observed in genetic syndromes. These include cleft lip, joint fingers, short stature, enlarged head and cardiac defects like holes in heart. Some are observable while others require imaging to detect them. These include cardiac defects, kidney or spleen defects. Several of these defects are caused by genetic factors. These factors include chromosomal abnormalities, single gene mutations and other multifactorial reasons. Individuals with these defects should undergo genetic testing and genetic counsellors will help you choose the right test which aids in making the diagnosis. Muscular dystrophies are a group of diseases which cause progressive muscle loss and weakness. They are caused by variations that prevent protein formation required for healthy muscles. Muscular dystrophies can be of different types, the most common one being Duchenne muscular dystrophy or DMD which affects boys. They cause gait abnormalities, muscle weakness and cardiac muscle abnormalities. Genetic testing helps us identify the gene change responsible for muscular dystrophies. This information can help the genetic counsellors to identify at-risk family members and provide them with preventative counselling. 
Skeletal dysplasias are a group of inherited disorders which affects the bone and cartilage growth. They usually have abnormal differences in the shape and size of the legs, arms or skull which leads to the individual being short in stature. Osteogenesis imperfecta is a common skeletal dysplasia which leads to recurrent fractures due to weak bones. It is important to diagnose this which would help in the appropriate management and prevention in future generations. Rare diseases are not really rare if you are aware. Kamarini group of hospitals at all its centers have trained genetic counselors to guide you with the right test, facilitate in the testing and in close interaction with the treating physicians help you prevent these disorders from recurrence in all your future generations. Please avail this opportunity.